Hey, what's going on? Welcome to video number one in the series of how to build a website for your business and get it ranking in Google without breaking the bank. First things first, I recommend watching this on your computer so that way you can follow along as I build the case study website and it'll just make things a lot easier if you can see the whole screen and all that's going on because we have a lot to cover. So if you're watching on your phone or your tablet or something, be sure to be taking notes or just come back at another time when you can get on your computer and watch this so you can pay attention because it's very important to get every single step done when it is done at the proper time so that way things will work good and will look correct when you build your site. So. Without further ado, we have a lot to cover, so let's just hop right into my computer and let's get to work. Okay guys, welcome into my computer. Let's just get into it because we have a lot to cover. So how to build a website from scratch and get it to rank in Google without spending a fortune because there's no point to having a website for your business if nobody is able to find it. So I also want to get rid of the elephant in the room and that is the question that I'm, that I'm sure is on your mind and that is since I own a digital marketing company, why am I giving away this information? But the reason for that is chances are if you are watching this, you're at the beginning of your endeavor and your marketing budget is probably pretty limited at this very point in time. So basically what I want to do with this whole series of videos is teach you how to get up and running and get your first few customers and then use that as a snowball to get the ball rolling and more and more customers coming into your business and more employees, more equipment, all that sort of stuff. Because then you'll get to a point where you have all the stuff that you need to manage and it's a lot easier to then just spending that one or two or five thousand dollars a month with my company to have us manage all your marketing because that way that takes a ton of time off of your week or your month or every single day or however often that you would be working on your marketing so that being said so here's what we will cover in this video I'm going to keep this just as simple as possible because that's what the whole goal is keeping your entire business simple keeping your marketing simple with all the work that you're doing in your entire business just keep it simple so that way it's organized it's not overcome complicated it's not stressful and this is one thing that people really really mess up and that's what the whole point of this series is keeping your website and marketing plan simple and successful so if you just stick to exactly how things are done in this video your site will look good function right and it will rank so here's what we're going to do first we're going to show you how to set up your domain name with a registrar that's your website.com.net org whatever extension you want to use next would be to get hosting next up is setting up your name servers this is very, very simple. It's just merely copying and pasting. You don't need to know all this coding or tech stuff and all that kind of crazy doodads. You just don't have to worry about that. But next is how to create a custom email account and how to access them very, very quickly. Instead of having to go through all these pages in the back end of the site and all that, and, and mainly because having a custom email account is what separates you from the guy who is just doing Johnny's Lawn Care at gmail.com. You have a custom branded email account that looks 10 times more professional than someone using a Gmail account. And also, I'll be showing you how you can get access to your custom email account on your phone. It's really, really simple and it does not cost very much at all. Next is installing WordPress for free and doing the proper basic setup on the site and the pages. So that way, it's very easy to manage and edit your page. And then in the next video, we'll be covering the plugins and the design and all that sort of stuff. Here is a quick breakdown of what it is going to cost to get this site up and running. First off, our domain. This is going to be anywhere from one to 12 bucks a year, depending on the extension that you want to have. If you want to have .com or .net, depending on your company name and all that sort of stuff, it's going to be anywhere from one, that'll be in the $12 per year range. If you want like .club or .site or any of these other different abstract kind of extensions, that's going to be like one to two bucks. Very, very, very cheap. Next up is your hosting. Depending on the package that you select as well as the terms, if you pay for three years at once, it's going to be a lot cheaper than say paying per month but for a just standard small businesses website you're going to be anywhere between three and twenty bucks and the, the reason for the big variance is you can if you purchase three years in advance or if you purchase three years worth of service it's going to be a lot cheaper per month than it will be to do month by month by month for most plans it's going to be around 10 to 13 bucks per month so you're talking 130 dollars for the year add that to the cost of the domain you're looking at about 140 dollars per year Pretty cheap considering the fact that it would only take one job if you're doing landscaping to pay for that entire website for its entire year. And it's running for you all the time, 24 seven, whether you're sleeping, working on vacation or whatever. 
And so next is a WordPress theme. There are tons of free themes that you can pick out that look awesome, they are very functional. And you can also purchase ones from anywhere from 20 to 100 to 200 dollars or or even more if you if you would want to spend that much it really just depends on your preference and what your budget is and then lastly this is totally optional but this would be things like content creation going and having somebody on a website like iWriter write out your articles so that way it saves you a lot of time because you can have them write a 500 word article for four bucks or something super super cheap like that and you can also go to places like Shuttershock and get an image for three bucks for a super high quality image and you can even buy a bunch of images from there if you wanted to spend 50 or 100 dollars you'd have 20 or 30 pictures that you could use as well so let's get into getting our domain name Okay, so now we're over here at Namecheap.com. This is where we are going to register our website. And one thing I wanted to cover really quickly before we even choose our name, and actually first, if you have not registered your company yet with your state or local area, wherever you need to register it, plug it into this search to make sure nobody has the name that you want. So, so if you want Johnson's Lawn Service or something along the lines of that and someone already has it, then you may want to adjust your chosen name for your company. But the point I wanted that I want to cover is the use of exact match domains. These are sites like lawnservicefargo.com or Minneapolis Landscaping or whatever it may be. They can work great for ranking in that one city. Since Google changed up their algorithm a few years back, those sites don't rank quite as effectively for other cities. So it can be a pain to manage multiple sites at one time. So ideally what we're going to be doing with this is building a website for your brand, for your company, for Johnny's Lawn Care or whatever your company name may be. And then we're going to be building out pages to rank in individual cities for and for services that we're offering. So it's going to be Lawn Service, Maple Grove. We're going to show you how to do that with just your brand's website. So that way you don't have to try to manage 20 different websites at one time because that would be a huge pain when you're also trying to run a landscaping company as well. So the site I have selected is going to be High End Outdoor Spaces. We're just going to search it really quick. And it looks like highendoutdoorspaces.com is available. All the different domain extensions. But we're going to do highendoutdoorspaces.com. So we'll click Add to Cart. And you'll run through the checkout process just like you would if you were buying something from Amazon. And one very, very important thing to make sure that you have is the who is guard so that your site is anonymous. And you also want to make sure you have auto renew on for that as well as auto renew for the domain registration. So that way a year from now when your domain would be up for expiration, nobody can take it if you forget to renew. You can also set it for up to five years if you would like. You don't need to worry about any of the stuff down here at this point in time. Just click confirm order and make your purchase so once you completed the payment at Namecheap, you will go click on the home page and go to your dashboard and then you'll want to click domain list and you'll be brought over here. Now you own a domain. One thing you want to make sure to check is that your who is guard is turned on. Don't worry about the rest of the stuff at this very point in time, but the important thing is that we have our domain set up and ready to go. Just leave this page open as we go on to select our host. So we are over here at HostGator.com. Now there are tons and tons of other hosting companies out there. However, HostGator makes it very, very simple for even a beginner to get a website built and host it on WordPress and create a custom email account and manage all that in a really simple manner without having to be a tech geek. So there'll be an annotation somewhere here on the screen to click that and take you right over here to HostGator. And so once you're over here, you're going to want to select the baby plan. You can get the business plan with a dedicated server and all that sort of stuff if you want to. However, it's going to be a lot more expensive to do so. So what you're going to want to do is have the baby plan because that way you have unlimited domain. So if you want to expand later on in the future with your business and your website, you can do so very easily. And you can always upgrade later on if you do find yourself with thousands and thousands of visitors coming to your site, you can upgrade to a dedicated server. But for the time being, we want to keep our endeavor as cost effective as possible. So you're going to click on sign up. And you're going to enter in your domain name. And then you're going to click, I already own this domain. This is all different extensions that you can select. If you want to own those, you certainly can. And then you're going to select the terms that you want to do for payment, create a username and security pin, and turn all your information here. And then if you want to have these add-on services, you certainly can. 
if not required. And once all the information's complete, you'll just click check out now and I will see you on the other side. And so once you make the payment and all that sort of stuff, you'll get this screen here. You might have to hit refresh. So you're gonna to wanna to click on the gator to get to your hosting account. And so then what you're gonna to wanna to do is click on the website that you have. So you're gonna click on the ID and you're gonna see that it's still pending at this very point in time. It's gonna take a little bit of time to load. So you may need to hit refresh. There we go, we have an active account. You're gonna take your username and copy it And so then you're gonna to wanna to check the email that you signed up with and HostGator is going to send over this account information. And what you're going to wanna to do is click on the control panel so that you can log in to it. So click that, go back to your email, grab your username, copy it, paste it into there. And then you're going to want to take the password, copy it and paste it into there and then click log in. So we are now here in the C panel of your website. This is the back end that manages your entire website and it, all of its functions. So now that being all said, the first thing that we want to do is transfer over our name servers to our Namecheap account. So what you're gonna do here, since HostGator updated their back end C panel, all that sort of stuff, we have to go and change the style so that way we can get to them very, very easily. So you just go down to the bottom of the page, click change style, then you're gonna click X3 HostGator theme, hit apply. It'll change your style and as it's loading, now we have our control panel with more and more pop-ups showing up, driving me nuts. So you're gonna scroll down here to the bottom and you're gonna take each one of these name servers and copy them. We're gonna go over here to our domain over at Namecheap. Remember we were over here, just log into your account, go to the domain list, select your domain, and then go down here to name servers. Click on the arrow, click custom DNS. You're gonna take the first name server from over here, so the very top one, and you're going to copy it and put it right here, in name server number one. Then you're gonna take name server number two, copy it, and put that in name server number two. Click the check mark. It can take 24 hours for it to work, or even 48 hours. However, once it's done, it's done. You don't have to mess with it ever again. So now the next thing that we're gonna do is go back to the paper lantern experience. More pop-ups showing up, of course. And we, more pop-ups, <laughs> holy cow. Okay, next thing that we're going to do is click our file manager. And what we're gonna do here is click the www, click favicon and delete it. And so the reason that we want to get rid of this is because with really any hosting company, whoever that you use, you will get their logo in the tab of the browser when you are at the website or whenever any visitor is on your website. So you don't wanna have a gator icon on a lawn company or construction company or whatever your business may be. You don't want your visitor's browser to have that on their screen because in my opinion, it looks really unprofessional. It makes you look a lot more professional if you don't have someone else's brand on that. So just right click and hit delete. Confirm, you are good to go there. So now we are back over here in our back end of our cPanel and we are going to create our first email account. And this does not take very much time at all. You just scroll down here to email, you click email accounts and you can add your account right here as you want. I'm just going to do sales at highendoutdoorspaces.com. You can have it generate a password for you. I'm of course going to be changing this. And there we go, we click create account. Boom, we have an email account. And you scroll down here, and you click access webmail, and boom, we have a email account set up at our domain name, looking very, very professional. Click got it, and then we click any of these ones that you wanna work with, whichever one has the best interface you can select to use. And there we go, we have a fully functional email account that is professional as can be. So now go back over here to email accounts, if you want to sign up for apps, Google apps, however you want to call it, 
you can certainly do so and it's only about five bucks a month or you can pay for the whole year for 50 bucks. However, if you're on a very, very tight budget, what you're going to do once your website is up and running is you go to the website and then you put the forward slash webmail. And if you're on HostGator, you can easily access your email account because you just enter in the email account name. So we'd enter in sales at highendoutdoorspaces.com and then you just enter in the password and it's very, very simple to do so. So now we have an email account, we are good to go on there. But so then you're gonna scroll down here to software, you're gonna click quick install and HostGator with this new update actually made it a lot easier to install WordPress compared to how it was with their old setup. So we're going to scroll down here to WordPress. And you're gonna select your domain and you don't want any of this stuff. So like I mentioned in earlier, where you can spend 100 to $400 to have them set that all up. You'll be learning in the next few videos how to get all this stuff done by yourself for a fraction of the cost. So anyway, you're gonna hit next. You're gonna enter in your name for the website. It can be whatever you want. We'll just do high-end outdoor spaces. This is where you want your company on here. You're gonna to wanna to do an admin name. So we're gonna do, then we'll just enter in your name last name and then enter in an email address and then boom you are good to go you're going to want to make sure that there is a new database for this installation and click terms of agreement and install now and it's going to take a few seconds installation is complete so next thing you're going to want to do is open that up in a new tab so now that you have your username and password and WordPress is installed, you will then go to your website and then to get into the back end so you can begin editing and getting things set up, you go to the website and then you do forward slash WP dash admin and that is it. And then you take your password that you had or your username and then enter in your password and then click login and you are in. And here we are at the dashboard. Here is the back end to your entire website. This is how you will control everything that this website can do, how it looks, and all of that sort of stuff. In the next video, we will be going over installing the theme, installing everything that you need to get the site to look good, and then also filling out the content and getting pages for each service and about the company and all that sort of stuff. So stay tuned for the next video coming out very very soon. If you're watching this in the future, there's already a link below or an annotation somewhere on the screen to get to the next video. Hopefully you were following along with this video and that you now have a website.